with you is a science experiment with you. So I'm going to do a reaction called the decolorization reaction. So it decolorizes a substance to its lowest transparent form. So I'm going to do a few experiments. Now I plan to do a two experiments on decolorization reaction. So I will only set up many stuffs and I've bought many stuffs to do it and we are ready. So let's get hop into the video. So for the first experiment, all we need is potassium permanganate and an ingredient, which is special. So let's move with the rest of the ingredients for the second experiment aside. Yes, now we don't need this gloss. So now I have a bit of water in this flask and we have potassium permanganate. So I don't need a lot amount of potassium permanganate, but so I've taken a spatula, but before that, I'm having water in this beaker, so let's pour a bit some into it. I don't need it completely filled because that would just boil everything. Because I need to add an extra ingredient. It should fit in there. So, and the potassium permanganate, as I was talking about it, you should only add a bit. And I tried this a few days ago and it all went spoiled because I added a bit more. Just this much of the powder is enough. And let's use a stick to just stir it up. Yes, it's perfect. Just look at it, it's perfect. So what I need to do right now is add my special ingredient. So I haven't told you what the special ingredient and the special ingredient is lemon, of course. So I have lemon here and this is a part of the clock reaction in science. So when the lemon is added to this right here and the chemical between the lemon juice which has citric acid of course and the potassium permanganate purple in color reacts and it is characterized by a color change from purple to almost colorless so let's have this on inside and this shall also create heat which is exothermic reaction and as we add the lemon you can see a slight color change has started yes and after something like a minute this will work so it's already changing into a light yellowish color just look at that change it's epic so a bit more lemon going in oh my god just look at that it's almost transparent except for the unmelted potassium permanganate on top it's transparent so it smells kind of citric acid all around right here so just look at that it's transparent so this is one of the most interesting decolorization reaction where we add lemon juice containing citric acid to potassium permanganate. You know, if you add any other acids than citric acid, it won't work. So exact thing you want is lemon because it contains some other substance which react with the citric acid and potassium permanganate forming the decolorization reaction. So let's keep this here. And this re decolorization reaction is a success. So let's hop on to the next one. So the next one we need the special ingredient vinegar right here. I have vinegar. And we need hydrogen peroxide which is H2O2. And we need iodine solution. So I bought this from the store. This is completely concentrated. And first of all, just like this one, let's just move this decolorized process gloss right here, which I'll be talking about at the end of the video. And we have another gloss right here. And so here begins the second experiment. So I'm going to add a bit of water to the gloss. And that I think should be a bit more so. Gotta pour a bit back. Exactly, so that is the amount we needed. So let's just keep this flask aside and begin our experiment. So first of all, to just dilute the iodine, I have this glass of water here. So I'm going to dilute the iodine solution into a bit yellowish orange color as I need to be. So it's sealed on top, let me just break it open. So I've just broke it open in a small hole so that 
it would come in the exact amount I want to pour this iodine solution into the measuring cup drop by drop so I know how much is coming three drop five six seven eight nine and I think a few more should have been there yeah exactly so I have the perfect amount to pour in so I'm just gonna pour it in so it's turning almost lighter so I think I should add a bit more so uh, eight drops should be enough again five drops so it's perfect in color right now so I'm going to just close the item solution here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to so what happens when I add this hydrogen peroxide H2O2, which, what is H2O2 actually? So it is water, but with extra oxygen compressed into it. So that forms this hydrogen peroxide. This is a weaker version of that what we get in store. So I accidentally went into a few stores and I found it actually. So when I added it into this, uh, the reaction of the oxidation of iodine by iodine, uh, by the hydrogen peroxide is a part of Bray Lebowski reaction, which is BL reaction. Uh, I will also just put what is BL reaction in the description as well. So it's a long process. And also it is a part of the clock reaction, the iodine clock reaction. So it's also called as the chemical clock reaction. So this is iodine, of course. So when I pour this into this, it will form a reaction that causes a bit of exothermic reaction as well as it forms a different substance which is transparent as well as different in color. So let's just open this hydrogen peroxide safely. And what I'm going to do is pour this into the machine complete. There's a bit of iodine so I should just clean this up. So I've cleaned the machine cup and now I'm going to just keep it here and add the hydrogen peroxide gently. I think that would be enough so what happens when I pour this into this is that the reaction soon begins and it might take a bit time still the reaction begins as instantly. So before pouring this in let's just move this aside and now as soon as I pour this in the reaction shall begin so here we go. So the reaction had already begun and it's kind of a bubbling up and it's not that hot but it's still a bit hot and just look at the inner it's just bubbling up a little bit and it's also kind of sparking inside and it's also a bit colorless changing just look at that it's color changing this might take up to two minutes or something to completely change the transparent so let's just wait it's been two minutes and this is so much lighter than it was and it's turning so light yellow and also to mention that the other experiment we did with potassium permanganate and lemon has turned completely white this is not fake this is completely true and i just kept it aside and now when i looked i was surprised to see that it was it was completely transparent i thought it would take like something like one hour but it just took 10 minutes so and into this and this reaction was found by a person called William C. Bray and he found this as he was, it, it was an accident he found it and also this reaction made a transparent reaction but this is almost transparent and this is really light yellow and this will be transparent, it's just been 5 minutes so when it does something like 15 minutes or something this will also be transparent like this one. So let's just wait till that. So it's been 15 minutes and this is epically amazing. Just look at it. It's turned a bit more dark than you see in the camera, but this is still transparent. When I look to it, I can see my hand on the other side, which proves that it is completely transparent. Just look at the comparison between both of them. This with potassium permanganate purple in color, when added to lemon, it turned with citric acid, it turned completely transparent, but it still has a gray shading but not something like purple or yellow or something. It's gray shading, something totally different. And this 
is has a bit of yellowish colors as you can see on cam so this is what the difference is and I'm concluding that both of these are decolorization reactions so I'm going to just try to bring back the color of this one to purple by adding a bit more of the vinegar so I'm using vinegar to bring back that because it's a kind of acetic acid that's going to undo the process done by the H2O2 which is hydrogen peroxide so let's add the vinegar so I just opened the vinegar and this is vinegar so when I pour it into it the chemical reaction shall begin and it contains acetic acid it will react with the iodine and H2O2 in it so it might take up to five minutes to do it I've seen a few YouTube videos on how this happens and I learned that when we add it to this, it turns colorless again and this is a different type of crystalline iodide used. So when we add vinegar, acetic acid of course, to it, it's a different kind of cloak reaction but not black in color just like the exact cloak reaction but this is going to turn transparent. I mean it is transparent right now as you can see and this is going to turn back to dark orange so let's just wait a few minutes and see it's been almost 10 minutes and as you can see this has really turned really black right here it's because the vinegar acted to the H2O2 which is hydrogen peroxide and the iron solution so this left to a different reaction where it just returned to its color to dark orange so this is still transparent, there's no such way that I know could change this back to purple but there is one way to turn this back to purple add potassium per magnetosyl. So that is kind of a, a thing that everyone can understand when we add potassium per magnet to water even it turns purple. So anything transparent or any color when we add potassium per magnet it turns purple. It's like a color substance. And this one can be changed using vinegar and vinegar is of course colorless so it's a kind of reaction which turned it back dark orange so that's it for the iodine experiment and let's just talk about this one so what what if when I turn it back a different way so here I have potassium permanganate and this is mostly of citric acid that's why it overtook the potassium permanganate in there so I'm going to take a spatula and add a bit of potassium permanganate, only a bit for sure, just a bit, that's enough. I think a bit more as well, yeah, and that is enough, and let's just use a stick to mix it up. And what you see is the color returning to its old color, but this is obvious, all shall know what's happening, it's because Potassium permanganate is of course purple and whichever is more would take over the other. For example, I, this one just before I added potassium permanganate had more citric acid than potassium permanganate making it transparent. Citric acid makes potassium permanganate transparent but what if there is more potassium permanganate? It would remain the same. Maybe a bit color change. Just see it's orange right now. It's not completely purple it's kind of black so thanks for watching this video like this video if you understood the concept of turning a substance transparent and back to its normal color so this is called decolorization and that, that's it for today's video so like this video and subscribe to my channel see you guys in my next video bye